Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. I have recently been just playing around with my hair and just trying to see how I like it to look. And I think I like the, the side part. But one of the issues that I've always had is going to bed with my hair like this and being able to wake up with my fro still being a fro rather than being a flattened mess. So this is actually four day old hair. This is a twist out that I did on my previous wash day. And I'm gonna share with you guys what I do to go to bed. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, lifestyle, hair, and makeup videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. First thing I do is I actually wash my face when I go to bed at night. The reason being is because I tend to have a lot of gel in my hairline. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to be cleaning off my hairline with a rag simply because I'm going to be doing my night routine a little bit later. So um, I'm just going to wet the rag and go through my hairline to take off some of the gel. Now it's never gonna be completely gone because obviously I don't want to get water in my hair, otherwise it would revert, but I like to clean off the perimeters so I'm not sleeping with gel in my hair. So when I'm done, it looks like this. So you can see the hairline is clean, but the hair itself is not reverting, and that's super important. The next thing I do is I go in with an oil. Now this is a DIY Ayurvedic oil that I made with fenugreek and a couple of other ingredients in there. And this is kind of just what I use for like hair massages and, and just uh, being an occlusive layer on my hair. And I've truly seen my hair get thick with using this oil. So the next time I make it, I will do a DIY video. But essentially what I'm doing next is I'm actually moisturizing my edges. I have never really struggled with my edges. Um, simply because I've never really been someone to do really tight braidings or no one has really ever done my hair except for myself so I can always feel how tight it is and if I feel like it's too tight um, braids or whatever my hairstyle is I'll take it out because I know how to do it um, but I've never had an issue with my edges and this oil really helps to make sure that I never have an issue with my edges so I just kind of massage it in there um, because of course any gel that you're using, edge control, all things of that nature can be really drying on your edges. So I make sure that she's in good hands. And then sometimes, it's been four days, so my scalp is a little bit dry, especially in the front here. I'll put a little bit of oil in the front and then just massage my scalp. Ah, <sighs> it feels so good. I try to do this every other day because I don't want my scalp to get too oily, but I have quite a dry scalp. It's, you know, a byproduct of having natural 4C hair. You finish these edges, you really don't need a lot. Like oil sp spread, <laughs> so don't need a lot. The next thing I do is a bit of sectioning. I have got my hands on these Invisi Bobble, the Traceless Hair Ring. These are the original. You can find them at Sephora. And I love these. They come in a pack of five and they look like this. So it's a little elastic ring. I don't know what it is, but this is amazing. The other thing I'd recommend using would be like satin um, hair scrunchies, but these are perfect for me. So wherever my hair is parted, I'm gonna be making five sections. So first, one in the front, and just slowly go through your hair. You don't wanna be ripping out hair strands here. So slowly go through, section off your hair, and do a single band around like that. If you have a bonnet, you can go ahead and put it on at this point and, you know, just go to bed and you're fine. I'm still just using my satin scarf. I've had this for like years. I got this on Fashion Nova like years ago and it still, you know, does me no wrong. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and tie this on my hair. So I always fold it in a triangle like this and I put the flat edge at the base of my neck 
and just bring the two pieces around and tie it. I still have makeup on, so I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't touch my face. So put that on, tie it at the back. Okay, and you're good to go. I don't really care if this piece sticks out, it doesn't really matter to me because I sleep on my sides anyways. And I also have satin pillows. So um, I don't find that there's any dryness or any weird tangling that I have. But I found that this method really helps. It's super simple and it keeps the hair stretched. So in the morning, I don't have to do a lot of work.